Number 38. How will an increase in temperature affect each of the following equilibria? And how will a decrease in the volume of the reaction vessel affect each? And then we have letter A out of this bunch. So the first thing is, is that I'm going to just rewrite this equation just so that we can work with it a little bit better. So we got two NH3 gases, which comes to equilibrium. I see the double arrow with N2 gas plus three H2 gas. Okay. So now we're talking about equilibrium changes. That is Le Chatelier's principle. And we're only talking about two out of the four different conditions. We're talking about temperature and volume here. Now the first thing, especially if they give you a delta H value, the first thing is I do is I don't worry about the number. I just like to talk about this in terms of heat. So remember back in, in a previous chapter, if the delta H is a positive, which is what it is here, that means that this is endothermic. And remember, endothermic reactions just means that you're absorbing the heat. And if you're absorbing the heat, the heat is going to stay on your reactant side. If it was on the product side, that's exothermic. So I'm not going to pay attention to this. I'm just going to say plus heat on this side. This makes it much easier when we're dealing with temperature changes. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. The first thing that they want to know is what's going to happen when we increase the temperature. So we're going to say increase the temperature. What's going to happen? Well, the knowledge is that think about like a really, really, really hot day, right? The temperature is rising. It's really hot, right? <laughs> And me personally, if it's really, really hot outside, I am not going to be outside. I go away from the heat. I stay inside. And that's exactly what chemistry solutions do as well. So if it's way too hot and you increase the temp, you will shift away from the heat. Literally, look for the word heat. Here's the word heat. Shift away from it. So in this case, since the heat is on this side, I will go away from it. I won't go towards the word heat. I will go away from it. So that's the answer to the first part. If you increase the temp, you will go the forward reaction, which just means that if we're going this way, all of these will increase and this will drop down. They didn't say specifically. They just wanted to know, you know, how will it affect equilibria. So basically, we're going to shift to the right, meaning that all of the uh, products will increase and the reactants will decrease. Almost there, guys. Now we just need to decrease the volume. So let's see. What does decreasing the volume mean? Well, volume, remember, is talking about the space inside the container or in this case, the reaction vessel. If you have lower volume, you have less space. So if you have less space, you want to always favor the side that has less moles. And I don't know what my dog is doing, but work through distraction, guys. Let's just keep pushing forward. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but barking at something. Anyway. So less space, less volume, shift to the less moles of gas side. So all we got to do is just tally up the gases, right? So let's see. Just make sure you're only taking the gases, so they're all gases here. And remember, to, to find out the moles, you just count up the coefficients. There's two moles of the NH3, so I have two total moles of gas on my reactant side, but then I have two uh, components on my product side. There was no number here, so that means that there was a 1. And there was a three here. So one plus three, I have a total of four moles of gas on my product side. If you're decreasing the volume, you go to the less mole side. Two is less than four, so you're going to shift towards the less mole side. So I'm going this way. I'm going the opposite way. So in this case, we will shift to the left which means that if you're going in this direction, this will now increase and this will now drop. And that's it, guys. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. 
Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. You guys have been awesome. Let's keep rocking and rolling. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. We're almost at 15,000 subs, and we can't be there without you guys. So, we, you know, my brother and I, we really do appreciate you, as the channel wouldn't succeed without you guys. All right? So thank you, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.